new details on a serious crash in Cranston that sent one teen to the hospital with head injuries and another in police custody. The 18-year-old driver reportedly going too fast on Plainfield Pike. New tonight, we're talking to a neighbor who says she wants the guardrail extended where that crash happened. Eyewitness News reporter Steph Machado was in Cranston with the very latest from the West Bay Mobile Newsroom. This is a new utility pole after police say a driver snapped it. They say he was going too fast around this sharp curve. Cranston police say five teenagers are lucky to be alive after 18-year-old Blake Carpenter crashed his car into a utility pole on Plainfield Pike, rolling over onto the roof. That sound that a car crumbling up makes. Police say just one of the passengers was wearing a seatbelt, a 16-year-old girl in the front seat. There were two 18-year-old women and a 17-year-old girl in the back seat. As soon as we heard the car crash, we heard a woman screaming in just blood curdling scream. Leonora Costello says she saw a young woman lying in the middle of the road apparently thrown from the car. Police say that's the 17 year old girl who was seriously hurt with broken bones and a head injury but is expected to be okay. Driver Blake Carpenter was charged with four counts of driving to endanger one for each passenger plus reckless driving. Because of the uh, speed in which he was uh, traveling prior to the to the accident. This neighborhood briefly lost power overnight. National Grid crews repaired the damage Sunday morning. Costello says accidents aren't uncommon after this sharp curve and she wants this guardrail to be extended. As residents here, we both feel very threatened. The driver and three of the passengers have been released from the hospital. Yes, yeah, so all the occupants are, are definitely lucky to be uh, alive at this point. That 17-year-old passenger is still in the hospital tonight. Carpenter was released on $5,000 personal recognizance. He's due back in court in April. In Cranston with the Mobile Newsroom, Steph Machado, Eyewitness News.